Well, hello there. So you want to figure out how to get to the multiplayer settings as quickly as possible in Dead Island 2. There are a few places where you can get a bit stuck, so let's go through it as quickly as possible so you don't waste any time. I'm going to select Amy here because she is the fastest character. You wake up on the plane and you quickly need to go and heal yourself. Let's go and do that. And I am going to speed this gameplay up a little bit because this is all pretty self-explanatory. You're going to get the first aid kit, heal yourself. Then you're going to jump out of the airplane and just follow the very linear track. Don't be worried about the hallucinations. They're not going to hurt you. Here, though, you do need to grab the weapon and really chop the block up. You won't be able to crouch and get through the tunnel unless you really smash up all the pieces of the box there. So make sure it's completely disintegrated. All right, and zooming straight through there, then you hop up on this platform. Here's a part where some people get a bit stuck. I did. There's a very quick quick prompt that you press E to kick, and that's the only way to get that box out of your way, so make sure you don't miss that prompt. Here, don't worry about this exploding engine. Just move straight towards it. It's not going to kill you. Just knocks you down. Then you get up, and you go right along your way. Jump back down and you find your way through some more tunnels. Back up into the plane, you're just going to turn left, open this door, and you go straight into a cutscene. Once you get through that cutscene, you're going to have a pretty scripted combat tutorial. Yeah, this guy here. Guess what? Zombie! So you have to kill him. Uh, it's not too difficult. Just slash them to death. And then, because your weapon breaks, you need to get a new weapon. Guess what? Zombie! So there's going to be a few waves of zombies at this point. You need to kill all of them. When you've killed the last one, you will get a prompt to knock this wheel down. You do that by taking a melee weapon, and as if you were firing a weapon, you use the right mouse button to aim and the left mouse button to throw. It will then explode the zombies that are left, and you just have to mop up. Once that's done, go back and talk to Joshua. You'll have several more cutscenes and you'll wake up in Bel Air. A map that tells you you need to go through that mansion. To go through the mansion, you need to open the gate. To open the gate, you need a circuit breaker. The circuit breaker is in the garage. You need to click the button to go through the gate. You go into the garage, you get the circuit breaker, and then you open the gate. Then, of course, there are some zombies to clear out once you've killed the last of them. Then you are ready to go straight into the mansion, right? No, of course, there's another obstacle. You have to take a detour to the right and go into this little uh, guest area over there. Once inside, immediately turn over to the left. You're going to find like a cool little wall safe in there. Just hit the electrical box as hard as you can with something solid and the doors will open. Then you're going to see this guy here who you have to kill. Once you do that, then you can take the key card from his pocket and head back to the mansion door. And at this point, a big time saver is just not killing all the zombies. You can actually run past a lot of them without engaging at all. So just run up the stairs, turn to the left, follow the little quest markers there, and keep going until, well, sometimes you get a little bit of a surprise and you have to fight through them. But you know, even then, if they don't actually block you in, you can get around them pretty easily. Just go around the corner here over to the right, go down those stairs, and definitely check on the console by that gate before you go any farther. But coming in here, look around, kill a few zombies, and you'll find the key code on the cupboard right there. Just head right back, go to the gate console, and you'll be able to get through right away. All the prompts, you'll have no problem getting straight into the mansion. This leads to a few cutscenes that then will quickly lead to you waking up on top of the mansion to go down, back to the ground floor, and yes, straight back out to kill more zombies. At this point, your goal is to close the front gate, and it's very useful to remember that you don't have to kill all the zombies. Actually, you shouldn't because you will just keep getting waves of them coming until you close the gate. So you want to go down into the lower level garage. You can even skip this guy, go straight in, and head straight for those flames. To get to the circuit breaker, we have to put the fire out. Just grab one of those water buckets and you use it like firing a gun. Right trigger to aim, left trigger to spray water. Then grab the circuit breaker and head back out to the gate. Once you're there, of course, still ignore the zombies. They're not very fast. Go and close the gate, and while the gate is closing, you will have to mop up the rest of these zombies. Then head back inside. You're going to have a quick conversation with the maid. Head downstairs to talk to the main characters. You walk straight into a cutscene. After that, you will head back upstairs, and you're going to talk to this dude over here in the corner. He's going to tell you to grab some of the resources in the surrounding area. You're going to use those to modify a machete. You have to do this to move forward, but it's pretty clear what you need to do at this point. 
Once that's done, you do actually have to go over and talk to Carlos. Also, he's going to offer you some items for free, but you do have to open up his inventory and accept everything he's offering you for free. You go upstairs, you talk to Emma, cutscene, then you go back down and you're going to try to find, as quickly as possible, Michael, who's going to let you outside. And now you have actually made it because as soon as you jump over that dumpster there and outside, you're going to be told that you can stay together in Hella and you'll be able to set up what kind of multiplayer game you want. Takes a while to confirm, but as soon as it is, you can then go into social, invite your friends. Well, if you have friends, and if you don't, well, just look for the pinned comment on this video, leave your Epic Games username, look at other usernames, add them, and voila, you have friends on Epic Games who want to play Dead Island 2 together in co-op mode. Hope that was useful. Let us know down in the comments if you're getting stuck on anything else, and enjoy smashing up zombies with your friends.